Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js and the Angular. Today we are going to learn about how to upload images in Angular and the Node.js using Malta. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have a demo. Let's complete that one. So first I will browse some of the images. Okay, so here we go with the images upload. So this is three core Redux tool. And then try to uh, if I go and just go to the network upload file and here we are that get the response that the file uploaded successfully and if I go to the section you can see that the three core concepts has been uploaded into our node.js project okay so we are going to learn in this video let's dive into the code level okay so first of all this is the angular part so here we have the file upload section this is the file upload component.css this is the HTML part. So here we go with the HTML. We, ha we have the file upload with progress h2 tag. Then we have an input where we have our own file selected. Okay. Then we have an event where we are extracting the file name and all. Then there is a button that is upload file button. Then there is a progress bar. Okay. So let's go into that files. So we have on file selected. So this is the main file that is file upload component dot ts. Okay. So this is that one file upload component.ts file. So we have a component view child at element reference from the Angular code. Then we have HTTP client for the API call. Then selector template URL and the style URLs. These are the template file and the CSS file. Okay. Then we have a decorator view child decorator is used to reference the file input in the template. So that is the file input. We are getting that one. Then we, this is upload progress number. That should be a number by default. It's null. Okay. Then we have a HTTP client to call the API first on file selected whenever we select a file. So we get the event and here we get receive the <coughs> file data. If you go to the console, I have already print that one. So selected file would be like this. Okay. So this all things we receive that one. Okay. From the file. Then we click on the upload button. So this is upload file button. What we do, we create a new form data create a form data object to send the file to the server. Okay, then find the file input element by its ID. So here we are finding that one. Okay, as a file input element, then we log the file input what it receives. If the file input has the files and the length is greater than zero, then we are appending that file into the that one. Okay, and then console that what then we are calling the make the HTTP post request to the server to upload the file. So here we have the post request for the upload section. Here we have created the API report progress to observe events. Then subscribe that event, check the type of the event, upload progress or the response. Okay, so first we check that and according to it, we are uploading the progress that one one person, two percent or something else. It will go to that one and give you the pro upload progress to be null and console.log file dot uploaded successfully event dot body. Okay, so this is the process part where we have upload uh, else just if you don't want the progress one, just hit that API and subscribe the event and check that what is the response then according to it handle that response. Okay, so the main file is selecting the file and uploading the file and calling the API is the is the, is the main one. Okay, this this one. Okay. So let's go to the Node.js project where we are. This is that one and uh, rest of the things like how we're connecting to the routing and all you. I think you know that one. So here we are connecting the route that is file upload. So we are doing an app routing part. So here we have a file upload. One thing app routing is here and the main part is app dot module dot ts. So here we have the file upload component here we are referring one okay after that this will work okay so this is the angular part let's dive into the node.js part so here we have the node.js file okay so this is that one first we require the express multer and the course course is basically for the because we are integrating from the front end so it requires that one okay then we have a multer configure the storage engine for the multer and define the directory where the files to be uploaded okay then we have a use the original file name over here okay so we are not uh, use the a certain number of that one like making the random string to create the file okay so this is original file you can see that this is the original file okay name of that one then multi storage 
here we have defined the route to handle the file upload so this is a multi part upload dot single and uh, by using this one you will get receive the original file name everything over here then you can handle accordingly and then response data okay if anything goes well you can make it in a try catch block also okay so this is how we are able to successfully upload the files into the node shares angular and the multi any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day